Good morning, friends. I'm Calvin Price, the pastor of Oak Hill Baptist Church in Meridian, Mississippi, and I want to thank you for joining me this morning for a nugget out of God's Word. This morning, I want to turn your attention to Jeremiah chapter 31. We're going to look at verse uh, 25. Although you cannot see my Bible, I actually have one in my lap in front of me, and I'm holding a cell phone with one hand and the Bible with the other. But I would like for you to know today that we can be satisfied. Sometimes we are not satisfied. Uh, perhaps maybe when you're exercising and you get through and you drink some Gatorade or something of that, like that, uh, it doesn't quench your thirst. In other words, it doesn't satisfy the thirst. What you really want is water. And perhaps you drink the water and say, oh, that was satisfying. Or maybe you went out to a meal and you ate a meal and you said, you know, that was really great, but it just didn't satisfy me. In other words, what you were longing for uh, was not met. What you really desired was not what you received. In this passage of Scripture in verse 25, it says this, For I have satiated the weary soul. And I have replenished every sorrowful soul. The word satiated basically is satisfied, but it means to fully satisfy. It means that when you satis are satisfied in this manner, that you are totally and completely satisfied. It may be today that in your walk with Christ, you're not satisfied. I often find myself being, myself being in a place where I'm not satisfied with my relationship with the Lord, meaning that I need to take it to a new level. Lord, I want to be closer to you. I'm not satisfied at just being where I am. I want more. I want to have a deeper relationship. I want to get to know you better. I want you to fully satisfy my soul. And so we want to be fully satisfied in our walk with Christ and in the things of the world. Typically what happens is when we are not satisfied, we resort to something else. We go to something else to attempt to satisfy that longing. And sometimes it doesn't feel that longing because we go to the wrong thing and then we go to the wrong thing again. But when you reach that right thing, you'll know without a doubt you have been fully satisfied because it did exactly what it was supposed to do. But as he said this, you have to consider Jeremiah. Jeremiah was longing for his nation to be returned and restored, and there had been a remnant saved, a small group of people saved, and God was about to do something magnificent in their lives. Jeremiah was unsatisfied with the situation, and his soul was longing. His soul was weary, and God was about to satisfy his soul completely and totally and it would be by the restoration of the nation. But as he mentions, he says, I have replenished every sorrowful soul. Think about where we are sometimes in our walk in this world, in our life in this world. We sometimes experience great sorrow, but God said that he would replenish the sorrow. In other words, he would take care of that. He would comfort the sorrow. In a psalm, he says that he would comfort those who mourn. And so he fills us, he gives us satisfaction that passes all understanding. It may be today that you are not satisfied. You, maybe you're not satisfied with where you work. Maybe you're not satisfied with, with what you're doing at work. Maybe you're not satisfied with your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And that doesn't mean when you say I'm not satisfied with these things that you're against those things. It means that maybe there's time for a change. Maybe you want something more than what you're getting. And so, if you want to be satisfied today, what I would encourage you to do is look to the Lord Jesus Christ and allow him to fill your soul and satisfy you as only he can. Please know this today, my friends. The Lord Jesus loves you, and I love you too. Let us pray. Father, satisfy our souls today. We go through life so often unsatisfied. Father, we want you to fully satisfy and fully replenish our souls today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, my friends. And I hope and pray that you have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Stay safe and remember that God loves you. Until we meet again, God bless.